presentation of TFNN. The Tom O'Brien Show is produced every business day. Tom takes your phone calls toll-free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Hey, Robert, how you doing, man? Yes, good, and thank you for taking my call. I wanted to let you know that I've been a subscriber for a couple of years, just different members of your team, and I really enjoy it. But really the reason I'm calling is to express my sincerest gratitude for you providing that information information yesterday on the small business grant. I'm a small business owner and primary breadwinner for my family. And if I can get that money, it's going to really mean a lot to my family. So that's awesome. thank you for uh, taking the time to do that. No, uh, well, listen, man, we appreciate you growling a problem with us. Now, Tom O'Brien. <laughs> Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day on the Internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great night, folks. Cultivate wisdom. You don't need to accumulate knowledge to become wise. Anyone can become wise. When you become wise, you respect your body, you respect your mind, and you respect your soul. When you become wise, your heart is controlled by your, your life is controlled by your heart, not your head. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials right now up 530. We get the NASDAQ up 462. You get the S&Ps up 97. You get a gain inside the NASDAQ, folks, of 3%. Inside the S&Ps, 2.1. 2 inside the Dow Industrials, 1.5. Gold, gold contract up six dollars forty cents, trading at seventeen eighty five an ounce. We have silver up twenty five cents, twenty two dollars forty eight cents an ounce. Light sweet crude up two forty two, seventy one dollars ninety two cents a barrel. Notes and bonds. The ten year down eleven ticks, trading one thirty ten. The thirty year off twenty one at one sixty one twenty eight. Yeah, the ten year yielding one point four eight right now. So you're still way low. Uh, this 10 as well as the 30s pulling back with lighter volume, and that's saying it still wants higher price. King dollar. King dollar is up 46 ticks, trading out at 96.374. Euro is at 112. Yen's at 113.5. And, and the British pound is trading out at 132 to 1 US dollar. Our phone number is 877 927 6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world? In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. What do we have out here? Well, there is no doubt you have a, a gain in price in a monster way. That being said, you have a contraction of volume that is huge. Um, we have a two-way market here, man. That's the real bottom line. Uh, you know, what you do have is this. So it's a pitch. The SPY's up $9.46. You know, if we take a look at this Friday, you were down at $4.48. You were at $4.68. That's saying that it's going to go after the high. You know, you're, you're already into the lows of the high, which is the 467.35. That being said, the contraction in volume is huge, man. So my, my take is that this is still in a consolidation. And uh, the lower end of this is, I'm not saying the lower end is from last Wednesday also. I'm going back to where October 25th was, which is the 436 inside of the SPY. We took a, take a look at the NDX 100. It's the same setup in the NDX. You're going higher with a monster contraction of volume out here. So what we have is this, is that you're up $11.13 on the Qs, done 39 million shares. Yesterday, with, yesterday was light volume, did 67 million. So pretty amazing, actually. That being said, now, the, the differential here is that I suspect the Qs will get to the lows of the high, the lows of the high at 399.19. And we'll see whether we can uh, basically do it. Let's just, inside the NDX 100, I just want to look at Apple for a second because Apple has, okay, so this is just the test of the highs. Interesting. Okay, so this would have, so check this out. So Apple, folks, has such a large weighting structure and everything. I think it's, I think it's 8.2% and the S&P is 11.1% in the NASDAQ. It, 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 there, there's some monster numbers out here. That being said, if you take a look at Apple right now, Apple's just tested a tie and it's going to, be a rejection of higher price with lighter volume. We've done 84 million shares. The, high, the number to keep your eye on is 170.30. Um, this is going to get really interesting, man, because if you've never seen something like this, meaning that these little subtle moves, okay, 
uh, mean something, you're going to be really surprised <laughs> because they do mean something. Um, yeah, they will see where it shakes out. That's the bottom line. Gold, gold contract out here. The bottom line is that we, we got, let's see, active contract. Okay, so the gold contract has 108,000 contracts, 120,000 contracts traded out here. It did reject lower price at 7, 1772. You're at 1785. Bottom line, you're going to the top of the range that it's been in. And we'll see whether it can get any juice out here tomorrow. You know, what it has certainly done, it, it came back into its strength from November, the middle of November, and rejected lower price. And good old King Dollar. If we take a look at King Dollar out here, what we have with King Dollar, King Dollar right now, couldn't handle price out here. Uh, we got to a 96, 592. Right now, you're a couple hundred ticks below that. You're at 96, 368. But it's, it's been, it's, King Dollar's been trading sideways for about uh, seven or eight days right now. Oil, we take a look at the oil market out here. Oil caught a bid once again. Oil's up 244, you're trading at 71.94. And that has, let's see, 442,000 contracts. That's not bad contract volume. Not great, but it's not bad. Yeah, so, so ice on oil, folks, is up at 77. I expect we're gonna go to 77. The real question's gonna be, is, that, uh, is it gonna continue with some juice? Because what oil does have, oil has an acceleration of volume out here today. That's how those, that's, that baby has. Um, let's see. Okay, these volumes are at highs, are low volumes. Doesn't it make sense that the case that the bulls to blow those tops out? Okay, so the, the question, because of the low volume that we have at highs already, wouldn't it make sense that you could blow those highs out? Yeah, it, it, it does make that sense, but this is, okay, so let me answer this. Not, I was gonna say two separate ways, not two separate ways. What it is is this. So if we look at the SPY, last time we went up on the SPY, we hit a high with 72 million. Now that's not a lot of volume, and that's what the Tiger's talking about, okay? So would it make sense that you can blow that high away? Yes, it would make sense that you can go test it. I don't expect it's gonna get blown away. And I particularly don't expect it's gonna get blown away because keep your eye on Apple. Because if Apple fails out here today, bottom line, you might even hear me change by the end by five or four that this would be it and would open down again tomorrow which would be really weird trust me uh on a move like this i i don't think we're going to i think because we're on tuesday in the marketplace i expect you can get a little bit higher we'll try to test that high but this type of contraction of volume is really something you want to wrap your head around um if apple as i said if apple fails out here today uh, that's saying quite a bit. That's saying that there's no more new buyers out here. You've tested a high. You've tested it with lighter volume. You're going to back down. If Apple backs down, the whole deal's going to back down. And NVIDIA, NVIDIA is the same way. And if you take a look at NVIDIA, what you're going to see with NVIDIA, uh, actually, NVIDIA has, has volume behind it. NVIDIA's in better shape than Apple right now. Uh, NVIDIA is at 48 million shares traded, which is, which is decent volume. That's the real bottom line. We're at 320.87. Stay right there, folks. Coming back. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Dow Industrials up 521. NASDAQ up 436. S&P's up 92. Come right back. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. What's separating you from the most successful men and women on Wall Street? That's right, information. Having all the information gives us the perspective we need to place the right trades at the right time. 
The TAS Profile Scanner is the premier market profile-based scanner. Powered by its acclaimed TAS proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner instantly filters over 2,500-plus global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodities, futures, and Forex. This powerful suite of tools leverages instant trade filtering and strategy formulation to show you emerging trades before they happen. For a limited time, you can save $100 off your first month by using the promo code UPGRADE. And you still get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. Level the playing field with the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find under the Services tab at TFNN.com. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrials right now trading up uh, four, no, 517. You get the NASDAQ up 444. S&Ps are up 93. Let's get over to our man, Mr. Basil Chapman, as we do each and every Tuesday at 20 past the hour. And don't forget, folks, Basil has an outstanding newsletter. You can check it out right on the front page of TFNN. It's the opening call. It's very easy to get the, um, the Basil's newsletter, folks. As you come over to TFNN, uh, bottom line, you're going to go into newsletters. You're going to see the opening call. Whoa, well, it would be nice if I put TFNN and not TGFN. TFNN. Okay, so you get you, go, you come over to TFNN. You're going to go into newsletters. Uh, bottom line, you're going to see it right on the right-hand side of the opening call. You can get the opening call for one month. There it is. You're going to get it for one month for $149. You can get it for six months for $6.95, which is a savings of $199 or 22%. You can get it for one year, folks, for $11.95, which is a savings of $593 or 33%. Now, they all come, folks, with a huge amount of education that Basil has on his page, okay? So when you get this, you're going to get about 10 archives to really understand how the market moves. If you enjoy it, bottom line, you may pay for it. If you don't enjoy it in 30 days, bottom line, you get your money back. So check it out. Front page of TFNN. You go into newsletters. You see the opening call right on the left-hand side. Basil Chapman, what's going on? Nothing new. Yeah, just a very quiet market. Yeah. Going to the end of the year, you know, nothing happening. I'm telling you. <laughs> it's pretty wild. There's no doubt, man. This is... So when we, when we spoke last, we were looking at 900-point moves in the Dow with the futures um, intraday. I mean, that... That was big. You can see on this side, the left side here with the daily chart. Look at those big red candles. And then what happened is I, I, I use a couple of techniques and I use them over and over again because what I believe very strongly is that it doesn't matter what particular techniques anybody uses. As long as you're consistent and you use them the same way over and over, you don't, you don't modulate them to form fit whatever it is. You just That's the way it is, and that's the way you use it. So I, I like to talk about little candles, sometimes little doji. I have just three or four candles that are really important to me in the candlestick charting method. But I also have some moving averages. And you can see we spoke about this, that little doji candle, all-time high on the Dow on the 8th of November at 36,565. That's where we actually started a short position that very day within 40 points. We didn't keep it for too long, unfortunately. 
story. But they're, they're the patterns. We look at that H pattern. The Dow broke down, started a move down, and then it accelerated. And where did it stop? And that, to me, is really the most important thing. Right on the 200-period moving average. And I'll show you right now this orange line right here. Well, in different programs, it comes out different colors. But it's orange, this thick line right here. And I'd say... Uh, and that, and on when I spoke to you last week, we still had a couple of days to go. And as the market tumbled down, the the the, the length of the down moves, in other words, the, the length of the red candles, accelerated, got bigger and bigger. And then we we closed. Remember that Friday? It looked like it was going to be a great day. The market was move, moving up, and then all of a sudden it turned around and it closed at the low. And what happened is, I like to use that 200 period moving average, but I use it with many other things. So that to me was it when I did my homework on Friday, I said, you know what, uh, Friday night, I said, this is going to be very interesting. And as I went over the uh, my, the market on, on the Saturday, I did my overview, uh, web, uh, the video for my subscribers. I said, this is going to be very interesting because it's held very nicely. And there's a chance on Monday that we're going to actually, we, we're already holding the long position, a core long position from the low starting at the lows of last March, March in 2020. And we've been trading up and down. We're using the diamonds and the DOG, which is the inverse of the Dow. But at this particular point, I said we might go long. So we did actually go long. Unfortunately, we got just stopped out, and the very next day, the market moved even higher. So we wanted to add to our long position. That one just worked very briefly. Unfortunately, it was taken out. However, looking at the candle, I've got a pattern that I call, um, it, it's, it's, I'll do it right here, it's got it's like a de declining cone formation. In other words, as the price is, where did that go? Whoops, I've done something wrong. I can't show it right now. Oh, there it is. Um, as the price is coming down from a, a particular high, it makes lower highs and much lower lows. And the most important thing about this is, I'm doing some funny things over here. I'm changing all the rules. Okay, there it is. So this particular pattern has, you can see it, he has this leg to the upside. Just call it one big leg, like I call it, this is the axe handle. I call it the falling axe. It's like a, a trend line that goes up, and then you make lower highs and much lower lows. There you are, lower highs and much lower lows. Then all of a sudden, it tries to form a base of support, and if it takes out the, the declining upper trend line, that can be very positive and it can take you sometimes all the way to the top. But most importantly, what you want to at that particular point, what I want to look for is does the MAG, has the MACD turned around and crossed positive? It hasn't yet. It's close, but it hasn't yet. It's made a fantastic turn because of the strength of the Dow. Number two is, is the stochastic, which I usually like to see go under 15%, preferably single digits, turning sharply higher. Well, it's nice. It's up 30, at 34%. That's not great, but it's nice. But the on-balance volume is lagging. The little blue line is, is lagging a little bit. And if you can see in the weekly chart, we did very nicely here. We went right to what I call the Chapman Wave inside track propellant zone, this green and pink rising, this narrow yes. channel, yeah. and then it, it went to the top. So a lot of things here are already perfect for a takeoff pattern, but we don't have synchronicity with um, the QQQs, that's the index 100, and I, at this particular point, we're actually still short. We're still short and actually making money via the instrument we've got. Um, it's kind of stalled right here. And I suspect that this, what I've been speaking to you about is a rotational correction. I suspect that that's going to go on for a, quite a bit over the, over the uh, December month. And one of the reasons why I say that is the tech sector had just a spectacular run to the upside. And it deserves some kind of a breather. And that's all it is so far. I mean, going from 408 down to 378, that's not much of a correction, but it is the start of a correction. So unless something really fantastic happens between now and this coming Friday for the weekly candle to change, I suspect that what we're looking at is there are a lot. I, I'm sure if you've gone through charts, you've looked and said, I can't believe that. And you can name your uh, NDX 100 stock, NASDAQ 100. Some of them have dropped 20, 30, 40, even 50 percent. Yeah, like I know. Doc, you sign. Yeah. So so this is not really telling you everything that's going on. And that's the reason why I think that there's still enough 
sectors within the Nasdaq 100 that can can kind of put a cap on the upside. That's what I'm saying. And the and the rollover into the Dow type stocks, I think, is very important. And that's really, you know, for since I think the summer of 2010, I've been saying to you, it's very interesting that we've had rotational corrections because it allows one sector that's overbought to take a breather, while another sector that's that's kind of oversold to take its place. And I think that's kind of what we're looking at right now. And so what we've done for my subscribers is we've gone to back to individual stocks to see if we can get the stocks that are acting the best and just try to hold on to those. So this is a very important moment that we're looking at. And I'll just say a Dow above 30, uh, 36,000 would be very impressive, I must say. But at this point, we're going to watch it really close. And folks, very easy to get his newsletter. Just come over to TFNN. Bowser, you have a great one, safe one. We look forward to the show tomorrow. Thank you, Tom. You too. Thank you. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. Are you having fun trading the markets, but having trouble finding like-minded individuals to discuss your trading and investment ideas with? Become an apex predator in the trading markets and join the Tiger's Den Trading Room only at TFNN.com. The Tiger's Den is an exclusive trading room where successful traders from around the world come to exchange trades and ideas. Join the den and surround yourself with the sharpest minds in the trading world. Subscribers to the Tiger's Den are also the first to have their questions answered live on air and can privately chat with our TFNN hosts live during their shows. Interact with other tigers and tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day. Subscribe to the Tiger's Den risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee and become part of the TFNN trading community. TFNN, educating investors. You could be making money off the stock market. And if you're already making money off the stock market, you could be making a lot more. Check out TFNN and Tiger TV and get expert investing advice to give you the power to control your financial future. Go to TFNN.com and find the newsletter for you. Whether you're into trading gold, metals, futures, currencies, or options, you'll get advice and analysis to help you seriously get ahead. TFNN also features trading services with a 30-day money-back guarantee for new subscribers, as well as TFNN's Tiger Den Trading Room, trading software, and educational web webinars for all trading levels. And make sure you check out Tiger TV for free on TFNN.com or TFNN's YouTube channel for live financial content from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern on market days. Stop watching on the sidelines while other people get rich and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrials right now up 453. You get the NASDAQ up 421. S&P's up 86. And uh, let's take a look at some of the higher volume equities out here. Uh, well, here, uh, first off, um, there was a question about the SPY. And isn't this the same type of setup? That was in May, and then we've been up 20% since May. So this is always a great question, man. There's no doubt. Because, the, yeah, can you go higher with light volume? Yeah, you can. But let me just show you this for a second. So here's May. Let me see what May is. That's September. What is that? That's July. Yeah, okay, so here's May. So 
we pull this, let's look at this. Okay, so we pull this in. You're going to see that we made a high in the spot at 67 million. Then you basically came down, you came down with some juice, you came down with 134 million. You built some cars, and then you get basically up there again with only 54. So that correlation, yes, exactly what you're saying out there, Dan, is that, yeah, we did the same thing, we're up 20%. That being said, when you take a look at the how we came down here, you can see, well, there's no doubt, we came down in May in volume. First you had 116 million, then you 134. In this particular case, first we came down with 112, then you had 148, then you had 133, then you had 137. Um, bottom line, I don't think it's the same. <laughs> um, that's, that's, that's the real bottom line. Um, so what, you, what you're going to hear off me any second, which is really a trip, and I said to you at the beginning of the program, I might change this whole deal about coming into the highs. This might be it, man. The way I'm, 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 the way I'm looking at this right now, if this sells off just a little bit more, um, and you got a half hour to do this, this is going to be a failure. Um, the cues, the cues are going against 78 million. You've done 43, and it's backing off. That's telling me that this would be a one-day wonder. Then that's if that's what it is. That's what does happen in, in these bear markets, man. The bottom line is you get monster runs, okay, and then boom, and it's over. Let's go to Alan in Denver. Hey, uh, uh, Alvin. Hey, Alvin, what's going on, brother? I'm doing fine, Tom. Uh, what I'm calling about is you, yesterday on your program you had this government program that pays off your mortgage for five months. Is that is that valid? Yes. Okay. So what I talked about yesterday is this. Let me see if I can pull this thing up. So okay. there's two different, it, it depends, this is what it depends on, Alvin. It depends, so you're in, you're in Colorado, right? So yes. what you want to find out is this, okay? I would call, you're, you're in Denver, are you in Denver? Yes. Okay, so I would call the city of Denver, um, the housing department, okay? And okay. ask them specifically, um, what type of housing assistance programs they have. Cause okay. let me just explain, I'll explain this again, folks, as to what's going on. So you have two separate bills that had housing assistance, well, more than that, but there's two bills right now. One was done before, done about a year and a half ago, that money's still there. The last one that was done was like four months ago, okay? So okay. what it is is this. I can tell you what, what's in the state of Florida and what's in New York, because I read about the one in New York yesterday. And the one in New York went like this. The one in New York went, and this is, this is not only just for rent money, it's also for mortgage money. If you make 150% or less than the medium pay in the state of New York, and that would mean that you have to make 175 you have to make $120,000, and $120,000 and less, and less in the state of New York, they have a mortgage program. That, that bottom line is that they'll pay, the, uh, they'll help you pay the bank your mortgage. And okay. so I believe, Alvin, what it is that every state is different. So what I would do first is just call the city and ask them, okay? Oh, okay. And, um... You know, when I get off the air, I'll Google it, too. I mean, but that's what I would start there. I'm sure they're going to have something, okay? I just, it, it's up to the states what they have. But I know this. This is what ends up happening, folks. If they don't use the money, that, that money specifically is for rental and mortgage assistance. If they don't use it, they've got to send it back to the Fed. So I suspect they're going to have something out there for you that you can basically, you know, um, get going. And if you have, uh, start there. That's where you want to start, Alvin. And, you know, see how it works out. Okay, I'll do that. Uh, okay, man. You have a great one and a safe one. Thanks, Tom. Thank you. And, folks, uh, no matter where you are in the country, this is worth it to find out. Because the story that I told yesterday is that the, we all, I had only had one renter that went for assistance, okay? And everyone should have went for assistance, okay? So picture, the renter paid their, uh, she paid the whole time. She was never behind in a rent. 
The bottom line is that she got five months paid. And what, what does end up happening is this, is that when, when it happens, they this will send the check to the landlord or they send it to the bank. That's how that works, okay? But it, listen, go do the work, okay? Because it's, it's a lot of money. It's a huge amount of money. When uh, in this particular case, that was like, I think it was 10,500. I mean, you know, bang, um, that the tenant basically just got. Now, they, you know, so it is out there um, and take advantage of it because the, the, the way that those programs work is that the, it goes to the state. So the way it works, first the money goes to the state, then the states send it to the cities, and then all the cities basically have to distribute it, okay? Let's go take a look at some of the higher volume. Well, yeah, let's, let's first, first off, I want to go back to this spy for a second because this is always gets intriguing when the, you know, you, you, you come off a high, you come off a high with big volume. It looks like you're going to do a cr big correction and then all of a sudden, guess what? You're, you're going to be up another 20%. So we'll see how this shakes out. Like today, okay, so let's picture today. We're at 467.09. If this spy closes at 466.56, that's a failure on price and volume. And if that does that, with the aspect of the NDX 100, let's look at this. And you look at the NDX, the NDX is going to fail anyway. The NDX can't make the high. So when you can't make a swing point, they, they, it just missed it. It missed it by a point. By two points, actually. Yeah. You get the big contraction happening. And then let's go into the futures for a second. And if you, you know, if you haven't been around these markets for a long time, we haven't seen bear market bounces in a long time, and <laughs> they're pretty intense. And the way that they normally shake out is basically like this. And then what ends up happening, like right now, we get the NQs up 422. If, if at the close, that NQ is only up like 375 or 350. It's over. That's that's what it, that's what it, that's 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 how this uh, thing shakes out. Um, we'll, we'll see how this baby shakes out. The, the bottom bottom line. My take, folks, is that the highs are in. You're coming down. You're in a consolidation. That's all she wrote for me. <laughs> Stay right there, folks. Come right back. Dow Industrial is up 407. Nasdaq up 414. S&P's up 23. Up 83. We're coming right back. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up and coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LA. LC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. The technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. 
Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Call, call now. Toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. I'm O'Brien. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrials right now up 419. You get the Nasdaq up 417. S&Ps are up 85. Uh, inside of, uh, well, let's go inside the NDX 100 first. I think it's Pinduoduo who's the big uh, winner. Yeah, it is. Uh, so Pinduoduo is up 12.5%. You got um, Moderna up 75 That got smoked yesterday. NVIDIA is up 7. Taken away from it. Comcast is down 5. You get Charter off 3.5. Uh, DocuSign is uh, down 2.7, and Peloton is off 2.2. Uh, inside the Dow Industrials, that's going to be, uh, let's see who we got. Well, I know Apple's going to be up there, that's for sure. So we take a look at the point movers out here. We got Goldman Sachs putting, uh, how's Apple off? Okay, so Goldman Sachs putting 61 positive points. Um, Salesforce 48, Microsoft 47, American Express at 38, and Apple only 31. Yeah, so taking away from Merck's, the only, uh, well, Merck's down, they're putting seven mi minus points, 3M putting four, Verizon putting a two. Uh, other than that, uh, everything is uh, uh, up pretty well. Now, let's go over to this Treasury market. So, Treasury's out here today, so look, look at this. So, you're backing down, folks, okay? And we're backing down with only 1 million contracts, okay? That is not even close. The Treasury market, when it likes to go higher or lower, does 2 million shares, 2 million contracts. The last time we were up here, well, yeah, look at this. Last week, it did 3.2 million contracts, and you broke topside November 30th. Then on the 3rd, we still did 2 million contracts, hitting that 131. Now you're at 1 106,000, I mean, uh, no, 1.06 1, 1. 1. million. Uh, and you're, ba you're backing against 3.2, uh, the once higher price. If we go take a look at the TLT, let's see how this baby's setting up. That broke topside. So that's backing down. Yesterday we, well, let's see. Today's. Friday we went topside with 34 million. Yesterday goes sideways with 30 million. Today you're down with 17, once higher price. Um, which, which is just a mind blower, actually. It, 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 there's no, there's no doubt that uh, when we start talking interest rate structures, um, you know, the the easiest thing is just to stay with the charts. When you see a chart that basically breaks high with volume, it is what it is. No matter what, we're all thinking. Um, the silver. Let's go take a look at silver. So silver looks to me like you're finally getting off this low. So the the silver contract went to the lower end of its consolidation. The last low in silver was out here at, well, not the, the, the low that was the end of the consolidation is 2146. That was the low that was established out here in September. And Friday we hit 2205. Now you've done 36,000 contracts and uh, you're going sideways to slightly higher. If this is, is going to be about what the good old uh, dollar is, is doing as well as what this market is doing in general, because what we had out here, when the market was backing down, uh, you had, well, some of the gold and silver equities, the only ones, the only ones at all that were actually going higher. Um, 
ExxonMobil. Let's go take a look at some of the, uh, actually, let's go to Halliburton first. Halliburton caught a bid yesterday, finished with continuing out here today. You're up uh, 72 cents, but this has a contraction of volume, too. Yeah, this is coming up to ice. That's all it's doing, man. This is a heads up. Yeah, this should, this should have been able to get more juice. You're up 73 cents. It's only $23 stock. But to me, it still should have been up more. Let me go see what ExxonMobil's doing out here. Exxon's giving it up. Exxon got to 63. It's only trading 62 right now. We got a contraction of volume. That's telling me Exxon's going to be right back down the other side. Meaning, because you, yeah, you're late. You, you know, well, first off, if you take the whole leg, we go back three months. Exxon was at 52, makes a run to 66. You do about a 50% retracement. Let's see what this is. Looks to me like it's about a 50. Yeah, right at the 50% retracement. And then, so when you do a 50% retracement, bottom line, folks, is that um, that's a normal retracement in the marketplace. It really does not give you uh, a lot of clue as to, okay, which way is this baby going to go? Uh, the E-minis. Let's go take a look at the E-minis. They, they're giving it up, man. They're, they're, they're 20 points off their highs. And you're going to see, yep, you just had volume come into them. Okay, one second. Here we go. Yep, there's the seller. And look at this. This is interesting, too, because it means there was a buyer there, too. Because we went from, so the sell down was eight points. But that being said, when you see this expansion of volume, 471,000 contracts, the bulls and bears are fighting up here. Uh, this thing... Right now, even before the close, this would be a mind blow. But yeah, this can go to 46.56. And if it goes to 46.56 around there, the bottom line is that uh, we'll be lower tomorrow. Who knows what will happen overnight? This is, uh, this is pretty wild, actually. Really wild. Because uh, NQ, let me pull the NQs up here for a second. This is the last thing I was expecting. I'll tell you that when I, go, when I got on the air. Um, Yeah, so we, it's, the NASDAQ's not as bad, but you can see the NASDAQ did, it did, well, the NASDAQ didn't go up as high either when it's the spike. So the NASDAQ, 16,167. It's not going to get down another 100 points. I don't think so. We'll see. Um, yeah, we get a question about the Anglo Ashanti, why it's down so much today. I was looking at this, man. I mean, I own this, and I know exactly what you're saying. What's happening here, it, which is really in interesting, too, um, for any of the tigers and tigers that own this, this is trading the same way as Goldfields is. And I'm trying to figure out <laughs> really all day because Anglo Ashanti, as well as Goldfields, okay, were going up when no one else was going up. Now they're pulling back, and they've been pulling back all day, man. And, and I've been pulling this up. When I say pulling it up, I'm talking about I'm pulling up block trades. And there's not a lot of block trades, so I wish I had the answer for you as to why it's down so much. And then, no, there is no news. Um, you know, what's worrisome, you know, in here somewhat is that gap. And that gap on the Anglo, Anglo Ashanti is $19.13. And it's probably going to get filled. That's what it's probably trying to do. We go over to Goldfields and we take a look at Goldfields. Um, you have the same setup. Goldfields is down to 50 cents for a $10 stock. And that looks like it's also going to go after the gap. There's, there's, there's two gaps on Goldfields. The, the good, there was actually three gaps. Look at this. It was three gap play. One, two, three. I should have realized that. Damn. Okay, so this is how three gap play works. Whatever way the gaps start, folks, that is where the market wants to go. So if we take a look at Goldfields here, what you're going to see is you're going to see yeah, the first gap that was, a, that was established out here on the 9th of November. Second gap was uh, at the 11, 10th of no 11th of November. And then the last one was at the 29th. These are going to get filled. That's how this is shaken out. That'd be pretty intense. Once, if, th if that's what ends up happening, then what you do is you go right back topside. That's how the three gap plays work. The gap, 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 they come back and fill them and then take off topside once again. Um, Harmony's doing the same thing. Yeah, someone's unloading some of these. You know, well, they've been a good run. So that's the other side of it, you know. That's, you know, that's what it comes down to, you know. But what you do have inside both GFI as well as Anglo Ashanti. There's still ABC structures on the way up that haven't finished yet. 
Stay right there, folks. Come right back. Dow. Dow Industrials right now uh, up 370. Nasdaq's up 391. And the S&P is, uh, I must have the wrong one up. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com educating investors. Are you looking for a secured investment which pays you on a monthly basis? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be the program for you. The best rate on a five-year CD in the country right now, according to bankrate.com, is paying 1% per year or $1,000 per $100,000 invested. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly, on secured, high-value, buildable properties in St. Petersburg, Florida. The investment is for four years, paying 7% per year, or $7,000 per $100,000 invested. Your investment is secured by high-value real estate in St. Petersburg, Florida. Your investment can be anywhere from $100,000 to $500,000. You want to make $1,000 per year on $100,000 invested, or $7,000 per year on a secured Tiger First Mortgage. The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be just the program for you. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly. For more information, you can call 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. <laughs> Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrials up 424. You get the Nasdaq up 423. S&Ps are up 85. Oh, man. It's, like, oh, it's like almost a toss-up. Let's go see what Apple's doing out here. So Apple... Is it going to make it? Oh, man. What a trip this is. 70. It's going to make it. Oh, my God. I love it. Okay. So, you know what's cool about this, folks? Okay. You got to see my whole thought process here for the last 45 minutes. Now, I, I, what I mean by that is that I started with Apple. To me, that if Apple failed at this 170.30, that would make zero sense, okay? So it doesn't look like it's going to. That's what got me going on the aspect that if that happens, then the NASDAQ could fail, okay, and the S&Ps. What's so unusual about it today is that you just started the week, and we had two good days. So... It's a close call, but I suspect that what you're going to see here is you'll see one more day. So get ready for tomorrow, folks. That's how this thing looks to me. But, you know, you're going to make another charge tomorrow. It'll get to the top. Like the Qs will probably get to 401 or somewhere around there, okay? You'll get above them. If you close below them, once you get above them and it has lighter volume, that's going to be where you can pull the switch, meaning... Whether you're selling shot or moving some product out, 
uh, all of the above, because we certainly uh, are going to have a, a big contraction of volume. There's no doubt about that. Uh, we'll see where these, uh, it looks to me like what you also have out here as we're going through the day, you have the uh, yen that is getting stronger. You have the dollar that's getting weaker. And that's telling me that we're going to have a nice uh, get-go in the metals market tomorrow and the next day. That's how this thing is shaking out. Uh, you know, the, the dollar has been going sideways. It certainly hasn't been going down. It's been going up more than anything. The last week and a half, it just went sideways. We made it to 96,500 today, and then it gave it up. Always oh, remember, folks, the bear can claw your heart out. The bull can run you over. And thank God, there's always another trade. Health, happiness, and prosperity. Have a great night. Have a safe night. Come back and visit Tommy tomorrow morning. Kicks us off 9 o'clock in the morning. Great show. Look at him, folks.